الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. Welcome everybody to class once again. Uh, today, inshallah, I'm going to review both Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Fi'liya and then start our final pre-study study of Jumla, of the Jumla altogether. Okay. Pre-study study means there was one more thing about the Jumla Ismiya that I had to teach you. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm probably going to get that started today. Uh, and then we can go into the textbook. And mm -hmm. my the whole purpose of this exercise was, I know you guys got had a bunch of questions and there was lots of, you know, um, Things we didn't write down, I explained, but we didn't write down mm -hmm. because I wanted to go through the book and mm -hmm. then comment on what we learned. Mm -hmm. So you, your base is not your own notes. Your base is the book, mm -hmm. and then you're adding your comments onto the book, yeah. right? So that's the because that's that's better because then the, the majority of the work is already done for you. It's already organized, mm -hmm. and then the missing pieces or the things that you want to connect, you can connect easily, right? So it's I think a more efficient approach to in the long run to learning. Uh, this material. Okay, so what I want to start with is the Fatiha mm -hmm. um, and just show you what we have been able to do as far as sentence structure. There are still things in the Fatiha that are too complicated for us at this level, mm -hmm. uh, but there are many things that we can do. There are mm -hmm. many things that, that are not that hard right now. So let's start with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, mm -hmm. so Ba is clearly what? Uh, Fi'il Madi, right? Havja? Yeah, okay, yeah. And then Ismi is clearly a present tense. No, no, it's Harfjar. Ismi is a Harfjar? Batakaf Lam Ismi? Oh, no, no, that's Majroor. It's Majroor, but it seems to be doing something that. Sorry, guys, I'm in class. I know you guys have got work too. Well, I got a live session going on. Sorry, construction crew. Okay, so Ismilahi. Mudaf and Mudafile is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. B is connected to Ismi. Mm -hmm. Ismi is the mudaf, mm -hmm. and the word Allahi, Laful Jalala, is the mudaf. And then Ar Rahmani, Ar Rahimi have the same four properties as the word mm -hmm. Allah. Mm -hmm. So they become Sifa number one and Sifa number two. two. Now, mm -hmm. what that means then, let's uh, take, let's switch over to the camera on the table. Jawad? Because I, I, I find it easier to. Yeah, mute that. Yeah. I find it easier to get one here. So. Uh, yeah, that's better. So can you see? Yeah, you can see. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Great. Mm -hmm. Now... Let's try green today. B is connected to Ismi mm -hmm. Jar Majroor. Right? Mm -hmm. Jar Majroor. Ismi is connected to the word Allahi Mudaf mm -hmm. and Mudafile. Mm -hmm. The word Allahi is connected to Ar Rahmani and Ar Rahimi. That's Sifa number one sifa and Sifa number two. two. Everybody should be clear about that much. That's pretty basic from what we've done. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. The problem is all of this is chained together. Mm -hmm. All of this is chained, chained together. together. And if you go by what we learned about Jumla Ismiya, mm -hmm. in Jumla Ismiya we said, you got to find the first Rafa. Yeah. There was nothing Rafa. Mm -hmm. There's like nothing Rafa. Yeah. And then if you go by Jumla Fi'liya, you mm -hmm. should have a Fi'il. Yeah. And there's no Fi'il. Mm -hmm. Right? It's yeah. just Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And everything, when everything is chained together like this, Yeah. Because it's all one bucket. Mm -hmm. Whatever this is, is one yeah. one giant bucket. Mm -hmm. And this giant bucket is basically a big fat fragment. It is not a sentence by itself. Oh, okay. It is not a sentence by, by itself. itself. What this means when you see a fragment like this mm -hmm. it, is that it usually, when you have a fragment like this and there's nothing more, and especially if it's nasab or jar, because if it was rafa, we can go a different way. If it's rafa, we can say oh, it's a mubtada. Mm -hmm. So now we entered at least the jumla ismiya world. Yeah. But if it was nasab or jar and nothing else around it, mm -hmm. that usually means there's a fi'il. There's a fi'il mm -hmm. that's invisible. Mm, okay. The okay, ghost of a fi'il is here. Mm. But wouldn't it be mutalaq bil khabar because it's harf jar? So harf jar comes with fi'il also, right? Yeah. Jar majroor can be mutalaq bil fi'il. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. 
So it could be mutaalliq bil khabar and it could be mutaalliq bil fi'il. I am saying when you see no uh, ism and you see no fi'il, you just see this, right? Then usually what this means is this is probably mutaalliq bil fi'il. This is mutaalliq bil fi'il. Okay. While we're on the subject, even though I haven't finished explaining this yet, I want to show you another one. If I say, uh, sorry, if I say, subhanallah, we say this all the time? Yeah. Subhanallah. Mm -hmm. Now, subhanallah, he, it's, it's mudaf and mudafila. You can tell that yeah. light no alif lam followed by jar, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why this is definitely mudaf and mudafila. Yeah. But this mm -hmm. is nasub. Mm -hmm. Subha. No, we don't say subhanallah, we say subhanallah. Now, it's definitely not, so this is all we said, we didn't add anything. Mm -hmm. This is definitely not a jumla ismiya, because if it was ismiya, we should look for a mubtada, and when you look for a mubtada, you should look for something rafa. Yeah. Well, it's not here. Mm -hmm. So it's not a jumla ismiya. And then it's, and there's no fi'il, so we don't know if it's a jumla fi'liya. Yeah. So here we couldn't find something to connect it to in Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and here we couldn't find something to connect it to. In both of these cases, they have something in common. What they have in common is one is not, one is jar or a fragment, the other is a mudaf mudafilay fragment, mm -hmm. and they cannot be jumla ismiya on their own because you need a mubtada for that. These are both actually jumla fi'liya. Mm -hmm. They're what jumla fi'liya, both of them, mm -hmm. and there's an understood invisible fi'il behind them. Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful that this is actually Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Is actually the completion of something that was here before it Something is before it, something you're saying or declaring And then this mm -hmm. So when you're reading Quran, isn't it what you're thinking in your mind I recite with the name of Allah Aqra'u yeah. Bismillah mm -hmm. When you're about to eat food, isn't your mind saying I'm about to eat in the name of Allah Yeah. When you're about to start you know, uh, studying. I am about to study in the name of Allah. Mm -hmm. I have an I have an exercise habit. Whenever I'm about to lift a weight that's really difficult, <laughs> I say Bismillah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I'm about to lift with the name of Allah. Yeah. I'm starting the car. Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim mm -hmm. Meaning, my action is the beginning, the fi'il. Mm -hmm. I eat. I sleep. I drive. I lift. I mm -hmm. whatever. I study. Yeah. I work. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And then there's the in the name of Allah. Mm -hmm. So in the name of Allah is actually muta'alliq bil whatever I'm doing. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And what that is, is then this was my actual sentence. Mm -hmm. I eat, I sleep, I drive. That was my sentence. Yeah. And this mm -hmm. is what completes it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's as if it's so beautiful because now from a grammatical point of view and from a philosophical point of view, Everything I do is incomplete until I complete it with this muta'alliq. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, so mm. I, it, everything I do has to be related to the name of Allah. Yeah. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is a fragment because my actions complete it. Mm -hmm. And my actions come after. So, you can actually even say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And then there's a fi'il not before it, but also you can put it after it. Mm -hmm. So, if you say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, aqra'u. Aqra'u means I read. Mm -hmm. Like you know, ana ansuru. Yeah. So it's like ana akrau, mm, okay. right? I read. Then this mutaalliq bil fi'il is muqaddam. Mm -hmm. It is before. Yeah. yeah. Because usually mm -hmm. the details are after. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. remember when th something comes earlier, it becomes only. Yeah. So you can even think of this as it is only by the blessing of the name of Allah, Rahman Rahim, that I can read. Mm. So you, the, the, the reading became, this became kind of the precursor, the, the necessary condition for my ability to read, mm -hmm. or for the, my reading to have any blessings in it. So anyway, that's, that's a side note about Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It is not a sentence. It is, de it's deliberately, purposely Allah made it incomplete. He made it a muta'alliq bil fi'il because your fi'il is actually the fi'il. Mm -hmm. Your action is actually what is the rest of the jumla fi'liya. Mm -hmm. Okay? Is that clear to everybody? It's really quite beautiful. That's that's that the that phrasing. Yeah, because it, it wouldn't it, like so if you like put a fi'il with it, right? You can say it with anything else. Right. That's the other remarkable. Thank you. Give me five. That was a balaga point he just made. Yeah, okay. If I said Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and you put a fi'il here, mm -hmm. 
if let's just do that. Let's just say aqra'u over here. Yeah. Aqra'u. I recite. Yeah. I recite. Oh, this you can't see it. I'll move it over. Okay. If you say I recite in the name of Allah, I would say aqra'u is the fi'il. Remember how we look for the fi'il and we look for the fa'il? Yeah. yeah. The fa'il would be ana. Ana, yeah. Ana. Mm -hmm. I would look for a maf'ul which is a nasab. I didn't find any. Mm -hmm. And if I find a jar majroor in a jumla fi'liya, that would be the mutaalliq bil fi'il. Mm -hmm. So this would be the fi'il and the fa'il. And this whole thing, one giant bucket, mm -hmm. would be the mutaalliq bil fi'il, right? Now, if I, that happened, Mm -hmm. Then I would only be able to use Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim when I am what? Reciting. Uh, yeah. But what if I was eating? I couldn't say Aqra'u Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim because I'm definitely not reading the chicken tikka. <laughs> I'm eating it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And if, you know, then if I was, for example, driving, mm -hmm. I'm not reading the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm driving. Mm -hmm. So this would have to be a different word every time. Mm -hmm. Aqudu bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Aakulu bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ashrabu bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Anamu bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Usalli bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Oh my God. Ahujju bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Aatamiru bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That would be too much vocabulary for you. <laughs> so what did Allah do? He did you a favor. Took that away. He took that away. It's understood. Your actions speak louder than the word. Mm -hmm. Your actions speak for themselves. You're yeah. actually reading. So that's the word. Mm -hmm. That's the fi'il. And therefore, it's not said. And this is what's said. Now let's look at subhanallah. Mm -hmm. Same problem. I was going to try to accuse this phrase of being a jumla ismiya. Yeah. I couldn't because I couldn't find a muptada. Yeah. So it's got a, it's nasab. Mm -hmm. And nasab happens for two reasons. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. Nasab happens for two, two reasons. reasons yeah. Either it happens because Inna or one of Inna's cousins was busy. Mm -hmm. Or it happens because it's a maf'ul. Mm -hmm. A maf'ul means what? A detail of a fi'l. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no inna. Mm -hmm. So the only possibility is what? It is a, a detail. It's a detail. Mm -hmm. Now the maf'ul is maf'ul bihi, maf'ul fihi, mm -hmm. maf'ul lahu, maf'ul mutlaq, maf'ul hal. Those maf'uls we did, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. This, we have to figure out which one. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to help you with that. If I've done this before, but anyway, usabbihu. Mm -hmm. Usabbihu. I declare the perfection. Mm -hmm. I declare the perfection. perfection. And then it says the perfection of Allah. Mm -hmm. So perfection, perfection. Mm -hmm. Subhan is actually a mustar. Mm -hmm. And this is the fi'l. And the fi'l and the mustar are together. Mm -hmm. Like maybe we said nasara nasran, or the wrestler said, I'm gonna slap you a slap. Yeah. Remember? Mm -hmm. So I declare the perfection, the perfection of Allah. Mm -hmm. The perfection, perfection, slap, slap. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bite a bite. Yeah. I'm gonna kick a kick. Mm -hmm. What this is, is this is a maf'ul mutlaq. Mm. This is a maf'ul mutlaq. Mm. You're very passionate about, you're stressing your de declaration of how perfect Allah is. Mm. And that's carried out in yeah. subhanAllah. Okay? Alright. So, but that, that side note, we come back to Fatiha. Now, let's look at Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Is that the first rafa? Mm -hmm. So that could be a muqtada. There we go. It's already done. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder if it's a jumla ismiya, jumla fi'liya. No, problem solved. This is a muqtada. It, it's got to be. Mm -hmm. There's no fi'l. And we, we started off with a, a candidate for muqtada. So we go with jumla ismiya. It's a muqtada. So now I'm looking for what? Once I found a muqtada, what a am I looking for? A khabar or a... Or both. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So now I see lillahi. Mm -hmm. Lillahi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jar Majroor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that could be a mutalaq mm -hmm. That means it's MBK, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now we see. Rabbil mm Alamina. -hmm. Sorry. Yeah? Rabbil Alamina. Rabbil Alamina is a mudaf mudafile. Mm -hmm. And its four properties match with the word Allah. Mm -hmm. Jar, Jar, mm -hmm. singular, singular. Masculine, masculine, proper because it's Allah's name, mm -hmm. proper because the mudafile is proper, yeah. and therefore this is proper. Which means this is a mosuf, sifa, mosuf, sifa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which means it's still one big bucket because mm -hmm. when they're, they're chained together. Yeah. So you see how they're chained together, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That means that this is still one bucket. It's still part of the jar. It's still part of the mutaalik bil khabar. Mm -hmm. When things are chained, they yeah. stay in the same bucket. Yeah. What's the what are the next words in the ayah? Uh, alhamdulillah, 
Let's just not erase that. Okay. So, Ar Rahmani mm -hmm. and Ar Rahimi. Are they still matching with the word Allah? Mm -hmm. Jar Jar? Yeah. So, Sifa 2 and Sifa 3. Sifa 3. Does that mean all of this is still chained? Yeah. That means all of this is still part of one big mutalliq bil khabar. Now I'm going to erase a little bit. So, uh, Ar-Rahmani, Ar-Rahimi, mm -hmm. and then Maliki, Yawmiddini, Yawmi, and Adini. Right? Mm -hmm. Maliki is Jar. Yeah. Matches with the word Allah. Mm -hmm. Singular matches with the word Allah. Masculine matches with the word Allah. Mm -hmm. It's proper because it's mudafilay. It says, I can't tell you, so I have another mudafilay. Mm -hmm. Adini is proper. Yeah. So Yomi is proper. So Maliki, Maliki is proper. proper. So Rabbil Alameen is sifa number one. Mm -hmm. Ar Rahman is sifa number two. Mm -hmm. Ar-Rahim is sifa number three, and Maliki Yomidin is sifa number four. four. Mm -hmm. That means all of this stuff mm -hmm. was one giant chain. Yeah. All this is chained together, mm -hmm. which means all. And where did the chain begin? Jar Majroor. Mm -hmm. And when you see Jar Majroor in a Jumla Ismiya, where which bucket do you put it in? Yeah, uh, So this whole thing mm -hmm. is mutalliq bil khabar. Oh. Alhamdu. Mubtada, mm -hmm. yeah. Lillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahimi, Maliki, Yomidini, Mutalak, Bil Khabar. So this okay. would be um, uh, Mutalak Bil Khabar uh, uh, Muqaddam? It would not be Muqaddam because it's after the Mubtada. Oh, okay. Oh, so Muqaddam means if it's before. If it was Lillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahimi, Maliki, Yomidini, Alhamdu. Oh, okay. If oh. MBK was before, mm -hmm. then that would be Muqaddam. Oh, okay. So this is a normal mutaalif al khabar. Okay. All right. So now today's new lesson. Say these words for me. Kana. Kana. Laisa. Laisa. Ah, uh, let's just start with Kana and Laisa. Why not? Okay. Kana and Laisa. Laisa. Okay. Now, this is a new world of Jumla Ismiya. Mm. Let me introduce you to these two words. Let's start with Kana. Mm -hmm. Kana means he was. Mm -hmm. Kana means what? He was. He was. Okay. Now, we don't care about the present tense right now. Mm -hmm. We just care about the past tense. Yeah. Kana is he was. All right. Now, in Jumla Ismiya, in Jumla Ismiya, what is between the Muftada and the Khabar or Muftada Muta'aliq al Khabar? There's an invisible. Is. Mm. There's a Jumla Ismiya. Is, has an invisible, what? Is. Is. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But what if you wanted to say was? Not is, but the past version of is is what? Was. was. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the is is invisible, but the was is 0, zero 020. Is is was is Ghana. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was is the word Kana. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now Kana is a it's a past tense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So hua kana. Yeah. Huma kana. This is not a normal past tense. No. So you're gonna have to do this with me. Mm -hmm. I'll say it, then you'll repeat it. Yeah. Hua kana. Huma kana. Huma kana. kana. Hum kanu. So far, it sounds like huma nasara. Huma nasara. Hum nasaru. So far, so good. Hia kanat. Say it. Hia kanat. Huma kanata. Huma kanata. So far, it sounds like hia nasarat. Huma nasarata. Now life is gonna change. Once you get to them, ladies, hunna. Life changes. Okay. Yeah. Hunna kunna. Hunna kunna. Hunna kunna. Hunna kunna. Hunna kunna. Hua kana, huma kana Oh, sorry. Hua kana, huma kana, hum kanu. Hia kanat, huma kana ta. Hunna kunna. Kunna. Hunna kunna. Anta. Now, once hunna made them kunna, then they just never went back. So, anta kunta. 
Anta kunta. Antuma kuntuma. Antuma kuntuma. So it's all kun now from here on. Who started the kun business? Kunna. Once it was there, the rest is the same. Anta kunta. Say it. Anta kunta. Antuma kuntuma. Antuma kuntuma. Antum kuntum. Antum kuntum. Anti kunti. Anti kunti. Antuma kuntuma. Antuma kuntuma. Antunna kuntunna. Antunna kuntunna. Ana kuntu. Ana kuntu. Nahnu kunna. Nahnu kunna. Good. Now check this out. Hua. Hua. Homa. Hum. Mm -hmm. Hia. Homa. Hunna. Help me finish. Anta. Antuma. Antum. Anti. Antuma. Antuna. Ana. Nahna. Ana. Ana. Nahna. Ana. Ana. Nahna. Nahna. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Cool. Hua. Kana. Huma. Kana. Good. Maria's going to help. Maria's going to help. Maria's going to help. Hum. Hum. Kanu. Kanu, aha. Hia kanat. Kanat. Huma kanata. Kanat, excellent. Kanata. Hunna kunna. Excellent. Hunna kunna. Anta. Anta kunta. Kunta. Antuma kuntuma. Kun tuma, aha. Antuna. Antum. Oh, antum kuntum. Yes, you always forget that one. It's like an age-old thing. Auntie, <laughs> Kunti. Auntie, no, uh, Kunti, sorry. Kunti, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Auntie, Kunti, Antuma, Kuntuma. Allah, look her. It's pretty good. An, Antuna. Yes, where it belongs. Oh, my God. Killing it. Anna. Anna, Kuntu. Anna, no. Anna, Kunta. Oh, my God. أنا 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 نصرتو نحن أو أنا كنا نحن كنا كنا yes okay listen carefully هو he is هما both of them are هم they are هي she is هما both of them are هنا them ladies are أنت you are أنتما both of you are أنتم y'all are أنتي you, Mariam, are. Antuma, both of you girls are. Antuna, you ladies are. Anna, I am. Nahnu. We are. We are. Kana, as opposed to hua means what? He is. I said he is, yeah? Kana, he was. Hua is he is. Kana is he was. Huma is both of them are. Kana is both of them were. Kanu, they were. They were. Hia means she. She, she, is, she, she is. She is. She is. She is. Mm -hmm. And kanat means she was. She was. Huma is both of them ladies are. Both of them ladies And kanata were. is. Both of them, both of them ladies, ladies were. What? Yeah, both of them ladies. Okay. <laughs> both <laughs> of them <laughs> ladies was. No, yes, they was. Yes, they was. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hunna. Uh, them ladies. Them ladies. Kunna. Oh, them ladies are, by the way. Them oh. ladies are. Them ladies was. Uh, and then them ladies. Them was. Were, sorry. Was. Was. Okay. Uh -huh. Anta. You. You. No. Oh, you. No. No. What do I keep adding to? Hua. He is. Huma. Both oh, of them you are. are. Oh, you are. <laughs> oh, oh. You oh, are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kunta, you were. Yes. You were, yeah. Antuma, both of you were. Both of you were. <laughs> was. Was. It's had it. It's was. Oh, uh, no, it's both not was. It's, uh, it was who is it was. It's both of you were. No, both of you are. Thank you. Both of, oh, <laughs> Thank <yeah>. you. <laughs> both of you are. <laughs> both of you are. Yeah. And Kuntuma, um, both, both of, of you, you are, were, was, were, were. This one's always is, are, am. Mm -hmm. This one's always was, were. Was, were. Oh, okay. Okay. This one's so always present. Be this one's always past. Yeah. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Antum. Antum. That's all, all, all of them. Of you. All of you. All of you. 
are. <laughs> all of you are. All of you are. Kuntum. All of you were. All of you were. Yeah. Uh, auntie. You, she, you, she are. You, she are. You, she, she were. You, she were. <laughs> Antuma. Antuma. Uh, Both of you ladies were. are. are. Yeah. Yeah. are. Both and Kuntuma. Both of you ladies were. Excellent. Antonna. Antonna. Uh, all of you ladies are. are. All you ladies are. Kuntuna. All of you ladies were. Yes. Anna. I am. I I R. I am. I R S. I am. I am. Collect tax. No. I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Kuntu. I, I was. I was. Nahnu. We, we are. are. We are. We mm are. -hmm. Kunna. We were. We, we were. were. Yeah. This is the past tense version. Mm -hmm. You could think of it almost like if you don't want to say he is, you want to say he was, you use the kana family. Okay? Now, is, was, mm -hmm. let me show you something. Is, was, and will be mm -hmm. are all related. Yeah. Because it's this because they are the same, the same meaning, mm -hmm. but different times. Right? Mm -hmm. But it's the same meaning. Yeah. Now, which one of these is invisible in Arabic? Is. Yeah. Is is invisible. Is, is invisible. And we're doing was right now. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But is is part of jumla ismiya or jumla fi'liya? Tell me that. Uh, jumla ismiya. Jumla ismiya. Yeah. So what the Arabs decided at a barbecue a bajillion years ago mm -hmm. is because is is part of the jumla ismiya. ismiya mm -hmm. It's past tense cousin mm -hmm. and future tense cousin, even though they are a fi'il, even though they are a what? Fi'il. Fi mm -hmm. They are still part of the jumla ismiya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're still part of the what? Jumla ismiya. Jumla ismiya. Even though they are a fi'il. Yeah. We just did fi'il business with them. Yeah. Like nasara, nasara, nasaru, doesn't matter. Kana, when you see kana, mm -hmm. it's always a jumla ismiya. Yeah. Even though it's a fi'il. Yeah. Even though it's a fair. Yeah. Now, this is important. Now, let's get the terms out of the way first. Mm -hmm. Kana, if you see it, is part of a jumla. What did I say? Ismiya. Oh, mm -hmm. Kana, if you see it, is part of a jumla. Uh, ismiya. Ismiya. Always. Yeah. Always, always, always. always. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, please, under, please remember this. If you see Kana or any cousin of Kana, mm -hmm. not only is it a jumla ismiya, mm -hmm. it is the muptada. Mm -hmm. It is the what? Mubtada. Mubtada. If you saw hua by itself, wouldn't that be the mubtada? Yeah. It's the first rafa. Mm -hmm. Well, kana has the rafa in it. Mm -hmm. It's the fi'il, yeah. but it has hua in it already, right? Mm -hmm. And kana has huma in it already, right? Yeah. So kana is the mubtada, and it's got the, the hua inside it already. Oh, okay. It is the mubtada. Yeah. Now, if I said nasara. This is the this is the most important part. Everybody's brain juice should be at full capacity. Nasara. I would mm -hmm. say that the fa'il mm -hmm. is hua. Yeah. The doer is hua. hua mm -hmm. Right? The fa'il. Yeah. If I said nasarat, mm -hmm. then the fa'il would be what? She. Here. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. If I said nasar to Maryam, what would the fa'il be? Um Anna? Yeah, the file would be Anna, Anna right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's try this with Kana. The Kana, mm -hmm. it's like Nasara, ends the same way? Yeah. I can't use the word fa'il. Mm -hmm. Because if I use the word fa'il, then I'm making it sound like it's a jumla fa'liya. Fa but I don't, the Arabs said, no, 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 no jumla fa'liya over here, no for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> they want it to be a jumla what? Ismiya. Yeah. So they say Kana, mm -hmm. and yeah. the Ismu Kana mm -hmm. is Hua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't say the fa'il is hua. They say the what? The ismu kana is hua. If I say nasara or kanat, mm -hmm. kanat, mm -hmm. then the ismu kanat mm -hmm. is what? Here. Uh, here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. If I said kanu, mm -hmm. can you help me finish? Uh, hum. Ismu, uh, ismu, hum. ismu kanu. Ismu kanu hum. Ismu kanu hum. Is home. That's how we're gonna use it. Okay. So the, the first thing I need you to know is when you find it's still the same, you're looking for the inside doer. Yeah. But for kana, you don't say the inside doer, you say the inside ism. Oh. Ism of kana, ism of kana, ism of kanu, etc. Mm -hmm. Remember there was the outside doer? Yeah. Well, it can have the outside ism. Yeah. 
-hmm. It's the same concept, but the sticker is different mm -hmm. because we're we're talking about it as a jumla ismiya. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I say Kana Allahu, this is in the Quran now. Mm -hmm. Rahiman. Mm. Okay. Kana Allahu Rafuran Rahiman. Okay. Kana is a past tense. Mm -hmm. Means he was. Yeah. We just said he was. Mm -hmm. But instead of saying it's 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 doer mm -hmm. is he. That's wrong. We're mm -hmm. gonna say it's is. ism yeah. is ismukana. He. Hua. Yeah, ismukana. Uh, mm -hmm. Ismukana mm -hmm. is hua. Mm -hmm. Except, you know, just like in a fail, you can look for an outside doer. Mm -hmm. So, can we look for an outside ism? Yeah. Yeah. Is the word Allah after and rafa? Same yes. rules. Mm -hmm. After and rafa? Yeah. It's after and rafa. So, actually, the ism is not he, it's the word Allah. Allah. Mm. Laftal jalala. Oh, alhamdulillah. Laftal jalala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or in English is the word Allah. So Allah was. So how you yes, Allah was right. Mm -hmm. Ismukana would be lafzul jalala. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is no longer in the meaning of Allah is. This is the meaning of Allah was. Now let's compare this for a moment before we go any further. Mm -hmm. If I said Allahu ghafurun rahimun. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. This would be an easy peasy lemon squeezy jumla ismiya. The mm -hmm. first rafa that came along would well, be my mubtada. Well, mm -hmm. The second new word, khabar. Khabar. Mm -hmm. And rahimun is another khabar. Because mm -hmm. yeah. they're not related to each other. We talked about that before. Yeah. So this would be mubtada, mm -hmm. Allahu, mm -hmm. ghafurun, khabar, mm -hmm. rahimun also, khabar. Yeah. This time, kana and its mm -hmm. ism together are the yeah. mubtada. Mm -hmm. Kana and its ism together are the Mubtada, okay, mm -hmm. and a ghafuran rahiman. Is there a difference? Yeah, what's the difference? Uh, is there a difference in status? Ghafurun here, ghafuran here, rahimun here. Oh, yeah, rahimun uh, here. one is nasab and one is yeah, whenever you put kana in the mubtada, mm -hmm. the khabar has to become nasab. Mm. It's kind of like the detail. Oh, okay. But we don't call it a detail. Mm -hmm. Why do they call it a detail? Haram. Because this is Jumla Ismiya. Can't call it a mafrul. Mm -hmm. They still call it the khabar of Kana. Oh, okay. They call it the khabar of Kana. Kana. Now, what did you learn officially about Mubtada and Khabar? Mm -hmm. You learned that the Mubtada is supposed to be Rafa. Mm -hmm. And the khabar is supposed to also be? Mubtada. No, the khabar is not supposed oh, to be Mubtada. Khabar. khabar is also supposed to be Rafa. Right, yeah. But if the Mubtada has a Kana on it, mm -hmm. then the khabar has to be Nasab. Mm. If the mubtada has what on it? Kana. kana mm -hmm. Then the khabar has to be nasab. If the if you get rid of the kana, mm -hmm. then the mubtada, the khabar should go back to normal again. Yeah. What is normal duties? Afuran. It should be rafa again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I said, for example, Nurmanu uh, Ustadun. Nurman is a teacher. Yeah. Both rafa. Mm -hmm. Nurman is mubtada. Yeah. And Ustad is the khabar. Yeah. They're both rafa. Because mm -hmm. the starting point for both mubtada and khabar is rafa. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if I say kana nu'manu. Mm -hmm. Now kana is the, mm -hmm. the mubtada. Yeah. And it's outside doer. Mm -hmm. Which is not doer. It's yeah. the outside ism. Mm -hmm. The ismu kana is nu'man. Mm -hmm. Now I put kana in a jumla ismiya. Now the khabar has to change to what? Mm -hmm. Nasab status. Usta mm -hmm. then. Oh, yeah. Kana Nurmanu mm -hmm. Ustad. Nurman was a teacher. Oh, okay. This now means Nurman was, was a teacher. teacher yeah. Okay. You can almost think of it like a detail, but I don't want you to. I want you to think of it as the khabar of mm -hmm. Kana. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you can ask, what is what was Nurman? Oh, let me tell you. He was a Ustad. Ustad. But I want you to just know that when you put Kana on the Mubtada, and if you see Kana anywhere, mm -hmm. there's it's going to be a Mubtada. Yeah. Then the khabar will be nasab status. Mm -hmm. Khabar will be what? Nasab, nasab status. status. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there like a reason for it though to be, become nasab? Like the khabar to become nasab? nasab? It's just uh, it, it's logical because it right. it is still at the end of the day it's still a fi'l mm -hmm. and ustad is still kind of a detail. Oh, okay. 
Because you, with the fi'l, you have someone who does it mm -hmm. and some someone who's a detail. Yeah. Now, this part is a little bit uh, brain juicy. This mm -hmm. is not the grammar of it, but the, the, the logic of it. Mm -hmm. So I need you to know this well, okay? There are complete fi'l mm -hmm. and there are incomplete fi'l, mm -hmm. okay? What's a complete fi'l and what's an incomplete fi'l? It's actually not that complicated. Mm -hmm. A complete fi'l is helped. Studied, read, slept. Mm -hmm. uh, when you hear it, you're like, "Oh, okay, that's what they did." Mm -hmm. And if you said he read, I know what they did. They read. Yeah. The act is known. Mm -hmm. But if I said, if I said, um, Mariam became. Is that complete? No, it's incomplete. Mariam, Mariam remained. Is that complete? No. What if I said Mariam was? That's incomplete. Also. That's incomplete. Mm -hmm. What if I said Mariam still is? That's incomplete. That's still, or still was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or if I said Mariam continued to. <laughs> Aren't they all incomplete? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes of these are all past tense too. Remained, became, was, still was, continued. Yeah. They're all actions too, mm -hmm. but they seem to be incomplete. Like, how do you film Mariam remained? You can say Mariam remained sitting. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that's complete. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. If they you know how in movies, because you don't watch them, so I have to describe this. Yeah. In movies, you have like the black screen and a long time ago, a king remained. And then you look. What, yeah. What, what, remain what? Yeah. what give, give me the khabar, bro. Mm -hmm. That's by itself, it's incomplete. Yeah. So some, like the word was, mm -hmm. is a fi'l, but in its meaning, it's incomplete. Mm -hmm. But the word nasara, in its meaning, is what? Complete. complete yeah. So these fi'l, they're actually called the the was, the he, wa, uh, or if I said madiyam is not, by the way. Madiyam wasn't. Mm -hmm. Is that complete or incomplete? Yes, uh, it's incomplete. That's incomplete. Yeah. What if I said, Mariam um, traveled? No, it's complete. No, it's complete. Yeah. I can get what you're saying about Mariam, mm -hmm. right? So when you have the incomplete fi'l, mm -hmm. kana, the two of them that I want to teach you about today, kana mm -hmm. and laysa, mm -hmm. incomplete fi'l mm -hmm. are considered part of jumla ismiya. Mm -hmm. And incomplete fi'l don't have a doer because nothing was done yet. Yeah. What did they do? Like if I said Maria was, mm -hmm. was what? Yeah. Like I didn't, there's not, there's not an act. It's just a state of being, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that's why we don't say it's a doer. The incomplete fi'l. is always a mubtada and the inside pronoun or the outside and after rafa mm -hmm. is called its ism mm. not its doer not its mm -hmm. file yeah so for complete fi'il, we have a fa'il. Yeah. For incomplete fi'il, we have an ism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or complete fi'il is part of jumla fi'liya, and incomplete fi'il is part of a jumla ismiya. Mm -hmm. Just like the word is on its own is incomplete, any of its cousins, was, remained, all of those are incomplete. And there's a small family of them. We have to learn them because they happen in the Quran. All of Many of them mm -hmm. happen in the Quran. Right. Uh, and they are really important for us mm -hmm. to know. But the first of them is Ghana. So let's look at some examples of Ghana in the Quran. Mm -hmm. So you can wrap your head around this concept. Because enough theory. For anybody who has some knowledge, there's someone who has more. I'm learning from my teacher right now, and I feel like I know nothing. Like nothing. Mm -hmm. There are aspects of Arabic studies in which I am a, not even a beginner. So I know way more than you or maybe one or two of you, but there are people I know nothing compared to them. 
I'm very much a student. And I don't see myself not being a student of the Arabic language for, I don't know, how, however long a luggage life. Arabic is huge. Yeah, it's like the little box you showed us. A little square inside a square. Yeah, yeah. That's what I feel like. <laughs> you guys think I'm in this big square. Uh -huh. Then I just look at what's ahead and I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> I look to now. Usually the khabar is supposed to be what status? Uh, the khabar is supposed to be rafa, rafa status. Mm -hmm. And the khabar with this becomes what? Uh, nasab. Yep. The khabar for kana is always mm -hmm. nasab status. So the simple formula is in, sh in summary. The ism of Ghana is Rafa. The Khabar of Ghana is Nasr. Ghana and its ism together are the Muqtada. So now you know two things that when you see them, immediately you know they're Muqtada. Mm -hmm. Two things that you see. If you see inna annaka an nabi anna laita lak inna la alla half nasab you yeah. already know that and its ism are muqtada if you see kana and any kana and its ism they are muqtada uh, examples of incomplete fi'l in english are was remained became Continued. Mm. Yeah. That's okay, that's good enough. Etc. Let's open up a surah and find Ghana. See if you can handle it. Let's open up Surah Al-An'am. Sheikh uh, Suhaib's PhD thesis is on Surah Al-An'am. What is? Mm -hmm. I wonder if we find Kana here. Uh, okay. Here we go. وَمَا تَأْتِيهِ مِنْ آيَةٍ مِنْ آيَةِ رَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُعْرِضِينَ so let's look at this this piece of the uh, ayah. Kanu anha mu'ridin. Okay. Huwa kana? Huma kana? Hum kanu. So we're going to say that kanu is they were. Mm -hmm. They were. Mm -hmm. As far as the grammar is concerned, we already know we're in a jumla ismiya. Yeah. For sure. Because mm -hmm. kana was used, we're in a jumla ismiya. Yeah. Which means everything that comes after is a piece of the jumla ismiya. Muttada mm khabar -hmm. muta'alliq bil khabar. This is the hum version, right? Yeah. Which means you don't look for an outside ism. Mm -hmm. Remember, we used to say you don't look for an outside doer. Yeah. Same thing. Only we call it now. Don't look for an outside ism. ism right. Mm -hmm. So it's the this is the mubtada and the ism of kana mm -hmm. is already inside it, which yeah. is hum. Mm -hmm. So kanu on its own is a complete mm -hmm. mubtada. Yeah. Got it? Kanu is uh, ismu uh, hum. Ismuha ismu or ismu kanu hum. Is, okay. Ismu kanu hum. hum. Kanu is the mubtada. Mm -hmm. Anha is the mutaalik bil. Good. Now we look at Mu'ridina. From a long time ago when you were young, mm -hmm. we learned that una, ina, ina are ending combinations. Yeah. Yeah. And that combination could be nasab or jar. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's no reason for it to be jar. Mm -hmm. So, nasab. Yeah. Why would it be nasab? Cover of kana is nasab. So if this is, if this is nasab, mm -hmm. then it must be the khabar of Ka kana. Kanu. Oh, kanu. So Kanu Mubtada mm -hmm. Anha Muta'aliq Bil Khabar and Mu'ridin Khabar. Now, the normal order, the normal order is Mubtada Khabar Muta'aliq Bil Khabar. Is this the normal order? No. No. That means that Anha is earlier. Mm -hmm. If it's earlier, then I say this is Muta'aliq Bil Khabar Muqaddam. And Mu'ridin is later than expected, so it's mm -hmm. Khabar Mu'akhar. Oh yeah, Khabar Mu'akhar. Mu'akhar. Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. What did I say Kana means? Uh, kana, uh, he was. He was. He 
was. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where we have to, you know, I, I don't have a choice but to share with you like some very important things about how Arabic is studied. Mm -hmm. Arabic, some people say, if you just learn the vocabulary of the Quran, I'll just write this for you. If you just learn the vocabulary, mm -hmm. then you know Arabic. Mm -hmm. And this is wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then other people say if you just know grammar, mm -hmm. then you know Arabic, mm -hmm. and that's just wrong. Mm -hmm. And then people say if you know vocabulary and grammar, mm -hmm. now you know Arabic. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to know vocabulary. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. You have to know grammar. True. That's also true. Mm -hmm. You have to understand. Um, uh, Concepts and theory. Uh, well, I just you have to call it balaga, ah. but what that is is uh, the richness of language. Mm. Balaga, man. Uh, and the culture mm -hmm. of the ancient Arabs. Arabis. <laughs> now, now that is then true. That equals Arabic. Yeah. So sometimes, so from a grammar, let's put this to practice. Mm -hmm. From a grammar point of view, or vocabulary point of view, kana means was. Yeah. So, and if you go to the dictionary, kana mm -hmm. will say was. was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The grammar of it is it's a past tense. Huwa kana, huma kana, hum kanu. Got it. It's a muptada. That's the muptada. That's the khabar. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I got the I got the vocabulary and I got the grammar, mm -hmm. but I still don't know in ancient Arabia what were the 20 different ways they were using Ghana in their poetry, mm -hmm. when they were making songs, when they were yeah. cussing each other out, mm -hmm. when they were fighting a war, yeah. when they were, you know, expressing their love for one another. Mm -hmm. they, they were using Ghana in different ways, mm -hmm. right? So even though the grammar officially is one or two things, mm -hmm. the, the richness of Ghana is a deeper thing. Yeah. The problem happens when you have a lot of approaches now to Quran studies, mm -hmm. which reduce the Quran to vocabulary, grammar, mm -hmm. and ignore the role of Balagha. Mm -hmm. And Balagha is really important because Balagha is, a, think of it this way. Um, you know, okay, so, you know, if I'm, if you're, if somebody's wearing like a sweater mm -hmm. and they've got a t-shirt on inside, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. What do you see? You see the sweater, yeah. but you don't see the t-shirt, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So there's two layers of clothing. Mm -hmm. But what's more obvious is only one layer of clothing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The same way when we analyze the language of the Quran with grammar and vocabulary, that's one layer of analysis. Mm -hmm. But underneath it, there's actually a secondary layer of analysis, which is balagha. And without it, the outfit is incomplete, mm -hmm. right? Without it, it's actually, you're, you're missing some very crucial information mm -hmm. that would help you understand mm -hmm. what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Kana is like that. So Kana, in the dictionary, it means he was. Mm -hmm. But Kana was used in the culture of the Arabs also to say, mm -hmm. oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know how in English, like give you an example of Balagha in English. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you go to some Pakistani restaurants, Pakistani restaurants, I don't know if other restaurants do this, but Pakistani restaurants definitely do this. Mm -hmm. You go to Pakistani restaurant and you see their menu and you know they've only made like four dishes yeah. but their menu has 35 dishes mm -hmm. right so you say do you have um chicken makhni mm. and the guy goes done <laughs> he just goes done <laughs> oh so you also have uh karai um done <laughs> he got none of that stuff but he says what done done now the word done mm -hmm. is actually past tense mm -hmm. It's not future, mm -hmm. but done for him is consider it done. as if I want you to think of what is going to happen in the future as so guaranteed as the past is, because the past is a guarantee. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about what already happened. Yeah. There's only doubts about what is going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. But I am so confident that you shall have your chicken karai on this table. <laughs> it, is as, it is as firm as the, as the past itself. Yeah. So he mm -hmm. says, done mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is now this is beyond grammar this is rhetoric this is balagha and this is a cultural expression mm -hmm. right so cultural expressions and and there's tons of things to learn there right but mm -hmm. you cannot learn that stuff 
the art of language until you do the science of language. So mm -hmm. right now we got to build this science of language piece. A lot of your questions actually are about the art of language. How come Allah says, wa kana Allahu, kana Allahu ghafuran rahiman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it would literally grammatically translate and Allah was extremely forgiving, mm -hmm. loving, and caring. Yeah. What you mean was, bro? Allah still is. How yeah. come Allah said he was? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's because you're looking at it only from the lens of grammar mm -hmm. and only from the lens of vocabulary, and you're not yet ready to look at it with the richness that the ancient Arab looked at it. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the balagha piece. Mm -hmm. Now sometimes I'll give you some balagha nuggets here and there mm -hmm. But I'm not showing you the entire gold mine because it's it's too big mm -hmm. And I want to take a systematic approach to teaching you that mm -hmm. uh, For now you should know Kan Allahu can be understood as And Allah has always been Now that sounds great Yeah That Allah has always been and it can also mean, and Allah in that incident was. Mm -hmm. Meaning, this is at the end of an ayah. Mm -hmm. Allah talked about some incident. Yeah. And in that time, in that moment, you saw that Allah was this and this and this. Mm -hmm. yeah. It can also mean, and Allah is in fact. Because kana is from kaun. And kaun is to exist or to, to, to be. Mm -hmm. And Allah is in fact, and I'm translating it with is, even though it's a past tense, mm -hmm. because that's how it was understood also. Yeah. Allah is in fact forgiving. So it's actually more powerful than saying, Wallahu ghafurun rahim in some cases. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's not one size fits all. It's not, oh, that's what it means. Mm -hmm. Every time you see kana Allahu ghafurun rahima, that's what it means. That's another thing I want to get you out of, get out of your head. A lot of people want formula. They want to, every time I see this in the Quran, that's what it means. Yeah. Every time I see that, that's what it means. No, no, no. You wouldn't do that with a person. Mm -hmm. Every time I say a certain word, mm -hmm. and I use that same word again in tomorrow and the day after that, do you think I use it exactly with the same emotion, the mm -hmm. same feeling, the same meaning, the same purpose? Or do I use the same word for different reasons? Mm -hmm. Don't I? Mm -hmm. but what, what do people want to do with the Quran? Or oh, this word, every time Allah uses it, He means this. Yeah. No. No, you're oversimplifying and you're creating these unnatural formulae that don't work and they create confusion and they create oversimplification. Don't do that to the Quran. Mm -hmm. This is why there's actually an entire study called Al Wujuh wa Nawayr fil Quran. There's a study of um, Wujuh wa Nawayr. What's the way to look at it? You know how a diamond has lots of cuts? Yeah. It's one diamond, but it's got lots of cuts. Mm -hmm. So it's one phrase, but it has lots of dimensions. Mm -hmm. Right, and what are the different dimensions of this word in the Quran? How is yeah. how is this word being used in different ways, mm -hmm. or how is this phrase yeah. being used in different ways? Mm -hmm. That's actually a study on its own. Yeah. So, as much as I am making progress with mm -hmm. you guys on the grammar side, yeah. there are other mountains to climb, mm -hmm. uh, inshallah. And we're we're getting we're inching towards that, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm excited for myself and you mm -hmm. to be able to dive into that all over yeah. again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, bir mm -hmm. Bir Is goodness mm. Okay Goodness Bir means Goodness Okay mm -hmm. Now tell me Do I say uh, Do I say uh, Taha Like a boy's name mm -hmm. Taha is good Or do I say Taha is goodness. Taha is good. good. Yeah, because good is an adjective mm -hmm. and goodness is an idea. Yeah. A person is not an idea. Mm -hmm. A person is an adjective. Yeah. Um, an idea equals mustard. Mm -hmm. Right? A person is not a mustard. A person is an adjective. Mm -hmm. So which one is correct? If do I say mm -hmm. um uh, Ahmed is 
uh, sleepy or Ahmed. Alhamdulillah, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Ahmed is sleep. Ahmed is sleepy. Ahmed is sleepy. Yeah. Or if I say he or she is mm -hmm. intelligent or she is intelligence. Which she one is correct? Intelligent. She intelli yeah, because sleep or intelligence mm -hmm. or goodness. These are all ideas. Mm -hmm. And people aren't ideas. Yeah. People are adjectives, adjectives yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we don't use a masdar to describe a person. Yeah. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did I say about bir? Uh, goodness. It means goodness. goodness. So is that an adjective or is that a masdar? Uh, that would be an adjective. Goodness, like you are goodness. Oh no, that would be a mustard. That would be a mustard. Yeah. Goodness mm -hmm. is a mustard. The idea of being good. Mm -hmm. Allah says, is a harf of nasb. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It means however. However, goodness is. Mm -hmm. However, goodness, goodness is the al birra part is the mubtada. Mm -hmm. Then he says, someone who believed in Allah, and so on and so forth. However. Goodness is someone who believed in Allah. Do you see the problem? <coughs> yeah. Because now you're saying goodness is someone. Mm -hmm. You could say good, mm -hmm. a good person is someone who believed in Allah. Yeah. So what I was expecting here was an adjective. Mm -hmm. But what did Allah put here? The idea. idea yeah. Now let's take this a little further. Mm -hmm. The diff. What is an idea? Mm -hmm. The idea is a co the concept of goodness itself. Mm -hmm. Think of the. Let me. I'm, I'm going to draw this for you. Camera, please. Can I get the camera? You want? Thank you. Albir. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, give me some examples of goodness. Uh, charity. Charity. Uh, chocolate. Um, chocolate is good. Go goodness as in like being good. Oh, being good. Uh, uh, charity. Uh, feeding the homeless. Okay. Uh, helping. Helping, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, goodness could be like, um, yeah, clean, cleaning, mm -hmm. praying, praying, uh, free uh, education, healing an animal. Oh yeah, it's good. Like somebody's healing an animal. Uh -huh. uh, educating. Yeah, someone's teaching a child. Uh huh. Or someone teaching a child. Yeah. So these are all examples of what goodness. Goodness, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So somebody giving charity is being good, and mm -hmm. someone helping is being good, and someone cleaning is being good, and someone praying is being good, right? Mm -hmm. But all of them are under this one giant umbrella called what? Goodness. Goodness itself. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But if I said goodness is just this, mm -hmm. it's like I rejected everything else. Yeah. And if I just said goodness is just this, mm -hmm. these two, then I rejected the rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even if I said goodness is all of these things, mm -hmm. I think I pointed the animal separately. If I good, if yeah. goodness is all of these things, mm -hmm. that's still not everything because there's lots of things we didn't write here that are goodness. Yeah. And even if you pointed out one scene of goodness, there are many other scenes of goodness that I didn't yeah. point out. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Goodness is too big mm -hmm. to be limited to one example. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like the, co the a concept. Is just too big, and all you can get is examples of that concept. Mm. But you can't get the the whole concept, you know, fused inside one, yeah. one one scene, mm -hmm. as if nothing else is it. Okay, but what happens in this ayah is goodness. Mm -hmm. is a person goodness is a person the one someone who believed in allah goodness is a person mm -hmm. 
And then it keeps going on to describe that this is the Quran's way of saying that the idea is so big. But if you want one example that represents the whole thing according to me who's the me here uh, me is allah allah oh, yeah. according to me mm -hmm. it's this kind of person mm. like allah is saying as far as you know, because you can think this person's good, I could think that person's good. Yeah. Uh, they're good, but you know, they got this problem, that problem. Yeah. Or they're good, but not that good. I know people that are better. Mm -hmm. Allah says, when I think of perfect goodness itself, mm -hmm. I th I see a person who has these qualities. Mm -hmm. Why is that ayah so important? Because that ayah doesn't just imp describe a person who is good. Mm -hmm. That is a person who is the living model of goodness itself. Mm -hmm. So this is this is actually a really powerful ayah because bir was used. Mm -hmm. If now um, that's a mustar, right? Mm -hmm. That's why sarf is important. If you use the word bar, mm -hmm. now don't say bir, say what? Bar. bar. Bar would be a good person is this, and this would be a normal sentence. A good person is these 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 things. Yeah. But in this ayah, it's goodness itself is these these qualities. Mm. So ayah 177 of Al-Baqarah is actually when you want to say, I want to be a good Muslim. I want to be good. Mm -hmm. Or you want to become goodness itself, be ayah 177. The, that, that ayah is like the volumes of what a Muslim personality should be, what a person should be, all inside just one place. It's, it's that important. Mm. Sharing, okay? sharing. Now, last thing about it. Let's go back to the screen, Jawad. And look at one last thing. So if we do these things right, and Allah's eyes, we're considered good people? Yeah. Mm. We're considered goodness itself. Oh, okay. Like the word itself? The word itself. Uh -huh. So he says, goodness is... Mm -hmm. Somebody who believed in Allah, like who Nasara, who Amana, he believed in Allah. Wal yawmil akhiri, notice their jarjar, mm -hmm. Allah and the last day, and the angels, mm -hmm. and the book, mm -hmm. and the prophets, and he gave money against his love of it. Mm -hmm. So he, he says a person loves money, mm -hmm. and even though they love their money, they gave it away, the will qurba, to the mm -hmm. closest of relatives. Wal mm yatama, -hmm. and to the orphans. والمساكين, and to those who can't help themselves والمساكين, and those who are stuck in travel or stuck in in transit mm -hmm. and those who ask for help or those who are needy mm -hmm. and those who have chains around their neck meaning Safe. people that are either slaves or imprisoned or they have debt around their neck they owe a lot of money to a lot of people so that's mm -hmm. around their neck by the way in ancient times a person became a slave because of debt Already. So that was a way of getting chains, literal chains around someone. Was the chain you, you can't pay me back? Mm -hmm. Oh, I take my farm. Okay, I keep that far, your farm's not a, okay. Take my children. The mm -hmm. children were turned into servants. Yeah. You that children take me too. Mm -hmm. I'm the servant. The, the family would become slaves to somebody because they couldn't pay back. Mm -hmm. So that's how firriqab worked. Wa aqama salata and he established the prayer. Wa mm -hmm. zakata and he gave zakat. Then wal mufuna. Notice the status. Wal mufuna. Still the. By the way, this was mubtada. Like in al birra. Yeah. Man is the khabar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the khabar should be rafa status. Yeah. Right. So this is rafa. Mm -hmm. And then wal mufuna is continuing from that khabar. Mm -hmm. Wal mufuna is still rafa, right? Yeah. Wal mufuna is rafa. Mm -hmm. They fulfill their promises whenever they make them. Mm -hmm. So what status is mufuna? Uh, Una, right? Yeah. Now look at this. Was Sabirina. Mm. What status is that? Uh, it can only be Nasib or Jar. Right, but there's no half of Jar. Mm -hmm. so it has to and be it has to be Nasib. 
and even though this is atuf on al mufuna so wal mufuna we were expecting wal mufuna was sabiruna mm-hmm. but allah says wal mufuna was sabi lina that's unusual mm-hmm. uh so i don't know if your mom's ever sent you to do the groceries because you're too young yeah my mom sent me to the groceries back in pakistan mm. to get you know get me to buy vegetables which i don't know the names of but she would give me a list and mm-hmm. i would just hand it to the guy yeah so because I, I, I don't know what <laughs> They're all green. <laughs> Give me all the green stuff you got, man. So, <laughs> but anyway, sometimes uh, you maybe your mom is telling your dad to do the groceries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's yeah. sending him, but she didn't give him a list. She's telling him verbally what to get. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And we, now you guys aren't babies anymore. But when you were babies, diapers were pretty important. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not for me. I, I was body trained until I was like one. Then I stopped using diapers. Or not, not one. He's not using diapers at like a really early age. Okay. Yeah. Well, for like um, my children made donations all around the house. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, but anyway, so your mom says, uh, don't forget the milk, groceries, and uh, don't forget the milk, eggs, bread. Uh, we need the cereal. Yeah. Make sure you get the cereal. All three of them have different kinds of cereals because they're different kinds of squirrels. Yeah. Make sure you, mm-hmm. And make sure you get the diapers this time. Yeah. So there's a list. Uh-huh. A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> yeah. Because that will cause death uh-huh. if you don't have it. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. So that one, the, her tone changed. Uh-huh. Her mood changed. Yeah. And it is as if if you don't bring them, do not think of coming back. Like there's a, there's a. You will be banished. <laughs> you know, if you if you cherish your life, you will come back with diapers, yeah. right? So uh-huh. when you have a list of things, and then one thing is more important than all the others, mm-hmm. and one thing, it's like if that's not there, none of the other stuff matters. Yeah, like it's above all else. Mm-hmm. What the Arabs would do ancient times is they would have things that are rougher, rougher, rough, this. Rafa and Rafa and Rafa and Rafa and Nasab. Mm. This one's like the thing. Yeah. So what happens here? Allah gives all these qualities in the khabar, which are Rafa yeah. and Rafa and Rafa, and then he gets to as sabirina fil ba'sai wa darai, as if this is it. If this isn't there, all the other stuff is gonna get washed away, mm. and that became Nasab out of nowhere. You know what's crazy? Read a common translation of this uh, this ayah, Surah mm-hmm. Al-Baqarah, ayah number 177. Yeah, and you will find those who s- fulfill their promises when they make them and those who are patient. Like it just ca- carries on like it's nothing. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And in the words of Allah, like when the Sahabi heard this ayah, وَالْمُوفُونَ بِعَهْدِهِمْ إِذَا عَاهَدُوا وَالصَّابِرِينَ فِي الْبَأْسَ He just nusbed it. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's that important? Mm-hmm. Like it would just it's like drop everything else. This is it. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's a this this is why the study of everything from the beginning, Rafa mm-hmm. and Nasab and Jar. Yeah. yeah, we didn't learn you didn't learn all the all the reasons why Nasab is used. Yeah. Right? You learned Nasab happens when there's a harf of Nasab, mm-hmm. Nasab happens when it's a maf'ul. Yeah. Oh, there's Nasab ala dham, Nasab ala al ikra. Nasab ala tahdeer. Oh my god. 16 nasabs, man. 16 nasbalizers. I mean, you know a few now. Because yeah. they, they categorize maf'ul bihi as a separate nasab, maf'ul lahu as a separate nasab. So five or six got done. Yeah. But there's still a bunch to go that are so cool. They're so cool. And each one of these helps us appreciate the tone Allah is using, mm-hmm. the stress Allah is using. Yeah. And how Allah Azza wa Jal wants us to pay attention to some things over other things. Like, a, you know, if I told you five things to do, mm-hmm. if I give you five questions, like, oh, I didn't like question number four. I, I thought it was too hard. So I did one, two, three, and five. But I didn't do number four. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But if I said, I told you, number four is like the most important one. Mm-hmm. If you do nothing else, at least do number four. Yeah. So sometimes we decide of the five things, oh, I don't want to do this one. Mm-hmm. But Allah says no. Yes, you have to do all of them, but this one you better you better hold on this one tight, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So He'll emphasize one of them, and we can tell which one He stressed like that just because we're paying attention to the grammar of the ayat. So that's a little bit of a Quran lesson for you from Surah mm-hmm. Al-Baqarah, one of my favorite ayat in the Quran. Barakallahu li walakum fil Quran al-Hakim. No, no cards. They're too late. Right. So but tomorrow we'll do double.
آه، ان شاء الله. الله. السلام عليكم ورحمه الله.